Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, but today it's after dark, the lights are dim, the sign is on, the cats are ready. Are you ready, cats? They're, they're kind of ready. Um, yeah, it's just me and the cats, because Tanya is away on a work trip, so we'll see how this goes. Um... So I'll be uh, preoccupied with trying to get some high scores because tonight we're going to be playing some 7800 games um, for the homebrew high score contest. There we go. Sorry, 7800. Sorry, cat. Sorry, Sprite. Uh, we're going to be playing Arty and also Bernie and the Tower of Doom tonight. Um, I did get a score in on RT the other day, um, but I was not able to get a score in on Bernie and the Tower of Doom. So hopefully we'll be getting a good score on RT, and I've made it up to a level 11 out of 12 for RT. So I know that there's some remaining points that I can put up on the board for sure. Um, and then also... After those two games, we're going to be playing a Chat's Choice of an Atari 2600 classic game for um, a patch score. And the uh, games uh, that were that are the possible games that I'm going to play, and I'm going to let you guys decide tonight. Yeah, it is weird, hey? What, what's happening over here? Nothing. Um, Robot Tank. Crackpots. Uh, Dolphin and Grand Prix are the choices for tonight um, for the third game. I have played them all before for a patch, but have failed. I have come close on them. Uh, we're going to start that uh, poll maybe after the first game, I think. But first, we're going to uh, read out the names scrolling gently beside Sprite, who is the co-host tonight, apparently. Hello, Sprite. Uh, they are a Cardboard Box, Alan Defer, Atar Andre Atari, Arkham H7, I'm Scar Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari H, Atari's Maximus, BR Poke, Buffalo, Pinball, Chalston, Mount Charles, Will, Chitler, La, Cole Patch, La, Colonel Lama, Crew Neck Line, Cubanismo, Dianoid, Dan, if you see, ow! Uh, Drexel, Dr. Moo, Cows, Gamma Dev, Glenn Main, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, uh, Homebrew Homeboy, Avatar Collection, Jedica, John D. W. C. Capetto, and Kenzo, Carl G. Ken Jennings, Invader, Carco, 2600, Lambda Express, Lauren D. T. Z. Mark Yannis, Mark Space Singh, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Soul, Mike Patel, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mother 3, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Neo Media, Nostalgic, 26, Pack Rat, Dave, Prow 7, Koog, 2600, R. Anschwitz, Raymond C. R. C. 70, Rendered Ghost, Pentless, VG, Forgot of Bim, Rodcast with Sledgehammer, Smitty B. Swipe Spare, Spin Lee, S. Ramirez, 2008, Tested and Rocking, T. Flock, The D Train, Tiki Dan K. Tietfo's Token Mantra, Trek MD, Vexrax, Vintage Gaming Movie, Give It, Vintage Gaming Memories, Vitoko, VVGW, Ion, and XKen X. And if you'd like to support the show and the cats, who are my co hosts tonight, uh, you can. It is. Make Sprite read the. Can you read these? He's looking at it. Now he refuses to read. Um, you can um, subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime and not free without Amazon Prime. Um, we're going to just go straight into the games because there is a show tomorrow and I'll do unboxing and news then. Um, but we got to get these scores in. First game tonight is Artie. Oh, he scratched my finger up good. Hopefully that won't affect my game playing. Hey, Cat, have you played Atari today? We will in two seconds. Uh, the demo was released, uh, the day after we streamed them. We streamed these, uh, exclusive updates on the 15th and Muddy Funster released them on the 16th. And actually I released Muddy Funster's PRGE 2022 from last year's interview today. If you haven't seen that already, it's on the Zero Page Homebrew, uh, YouTube channel. Hi, how are you doing? Um, so you can see me talk to him at uh, PRGE at the Atari Age booth from last year. Um, so if you haven't downloaded this demo, it is in the Atari Age forums. Uh, the links are below if you're watching YouTube. Um, hey, Metal Owner. Hey, Hugh Jass. Hey, Rendered Ghost. Hey, Chalice, Donnie Mao. Dan, EVC, Atari 2600, Dude, Jedekiah. 
and everybody else who is lurking. So last time I played this game, which on the 15th, I got 57,257 points. I made it to level 11. So let's see if I can do any better today. Oh, let's switch out that cartridge cover because I have Bernie. Let's switch you to Artie and switch over. Load up the game. Switch over to and there we go. Ready. And it starts to try to dial my modem. Which is very strange. Diddle it. Diddle it. Pokey detected. Save devices detected. So it should have my score from last time on here. Muddy vision. Hi. And this, oh. Get all the volumes correct. There it is, there's my score. 57,527 ZPH. And then I'm gonna bring the chat window up here. So that I can see what you guys are saying. Can you click the laptop, which I usually use for chat. Dark mode. Increase the font size. There we go. What's Sprite doing? He's rolling around before. Being a crazy cat. Now he's on the floor. Okay. I think we're good. So let's try and get to level 12 on this. Music's on. CRT mode. We never showed CRT mode. Um, oh, that just uh, changes the graphics on the, on the background to make them simpler, I think. Okay. So let's do this to South America first. So to get the high score, it's all about speed and the least number of dynamite used. I found last run through the game, I actually ran out of dynamite. Maybe I was taking the wrong paths. Um, maybe there's paths that I can take that doesn't use the dynamite. As much, that's a possibility. Uh, you're the only score for now. So everybody else can, oh my God, um, put their scores in if they want to play Artie and Try for some high scores and deaths and compete against me and Dan. Try my best to put in some decent scores into the competition. Um, I regularly get beat though. Sometimes I'm able to pull off enough points that I can stay in the top X people. Oh, there's a snake there. I would like to retain as many as my of my men as possible in this game. There's probably other paths that, like I said, that you don't need the dynamite for. Like, I could have gone down that right-hand path, but I would be in the dark. I try and pick up as many of the enemies as possible while, I was, while I'm going down. Yeah, if you could link it, that'd be awesome, Dan those people who would like to um, participate. I don't know if it's worth my time going back for an enemy. Like, you get a lot of bonus points for your time. I think it, at least it's worth it on the way down if you can pass by an enemy that you wouldn't normally hit. Level six. I don't think you get extra points for lives. Like this is probably a spot where I could. Oh, maybe not. Oh, it would slow me down. Ooh, which way is it? Oh, oh, this is fine. I think I've died on that before. I'm not getting far enough away. Yeah. 
Now you have to fly oh, a little bit away from the dynamite when it goes off. I mean, everybody play hero here, I'm sure. It's the same rules. This is an awesome tribute to hero. Save Laura there. Level seven. Oh my god. Stupidity. That was very bad. Snake. I will not die in that snake. Thank you very much. General rule is go down the side road where the hardest path is. It's so pretty well. Oh, and this is where I lost all my dynamite. I think I did accidentally use one. Wasting so much time. Oh, there's the end. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, for those who don't have Atari age count, uh, scores can also be posted on Facebook or via the website form as it states in the post. Oh, that's good. Oh, off to Egypt we go. Level 8. run out of um, bombs on this level too. And always go down the left hand side when going down paths because the lights are always hanging off the right hand side. Oh god. There we go. See that one? Right hand side. Those snakes gives me extra points, which is good. But it also, if I clear them out, helps me clear the path a bit. Not getting many points on these higher levels because the time runs out. A lot of Activision games play like that, where if the higher the level you go, the less and less points you get. Oh, this ball top is coming to screw a bit. Maybe not. Um, because it takes more time to get through each level. There we go. I wonder if that's distance from the... Um, the distance from the dynamite counts vertically as well. Or if it's just horizontally, or did they do some sort of calculation and add them together? I mean in the original one. On this one. 7800, a bit more computing power. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is where I died last time. So many times. Oh my god, I made it. Oh god. Okay. That's one extra life that I don't have to worry about. Level 10, two more to go. Well, three, including this one. Last time, too. Up! Oh my god, I hit that. Oh, I can barely see. Which one is it? Not that one. Is it this one? Oh, I should have looked. Yep. I'm running out of time. Well, actually, time's pretty good on this one. Probably gives me a lot because it's really far. No, 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 that's not what I wanted at all, at all. Oh, God. Let's see the thing. Oh, it's the other way. I'll know that for next run, too. At least it gets rid of the spikes. 
There's one game I played, it didn't get rid of the spikes in the last episode, and I was like, oh my god. Better be, better be soon, because I'm running out of time here. Score is not so great. Level 11. Oh, that was not much bonus there. duck. Chances are, you have to go over the spike. Yep. Maybe not. Yep. It was blocked. Oh, another one of these. That was risky. And of course you have to blow this up because it's the hard path. That was risky. Very stupid. Ooh, should I go down the middle? Oh, of course. Of course. What? Oh, my God. What was my last life? Okay. Is there anything? Oh, there is something. Okay. What? What just happened? What just happened? I can't see a thing. Oh, no. What is happening? I can't see anything. There's no path down that I can find. And I have no... Is there a wall here? Is there a wall here? I'm out of power. Damn it! Ugh. Just wasted too many lives on those other levels. I will do better. Level 11. Brutal. Okay. What did I get? Oh, better. 58, 170. Not much better, but a little bit better. Z. P. H. Let's do it again. Let's fly through it. Jolly good try. Hey, Metal Lunar. Thank you very much. Yeah, 50. You can put down 68. I didn't earn it. Try and get the points on those early levels as much as possible. I was doing pretty pretty good optimized runs, except when I died. When you die, it takes a quite a bit of time out of your schedule. don't think it takes up your power to fire your laser. I think we had that discussion before that the power goes down. It's just a time, not really a power. It doesn't get used by your jetpack, or does it? Don't trick me that time. Trick me the last game, which is good. Okay. Uh, later. First, then get the spike. Wasting time. Uh, snuck in the snake. Probably worth it. Hard to say. these uh, red walls. You cannot touch them. You have to get kind of close. Not too close. Close enough to lay the dynamite down. But not close enough to touch them. Ugh. I wonder... Now I really doubt it, but I wonder if you can get more points by shooting the walls out, which doesn't take any... Oh my god! Terrible. Oh, I know it's this way. No, it's not. Oh my god. What is happening? Not good at all. Two lives wasted. And 
the slow finish for that level. It's not going to be good for the score. And unless I'm really good at not dying on the higher levels, it's not going to be good for... else. Oh. And you do have to stop to put the dynamite down. You can't run and lay down dynamite. Again. It's good to know. Ooh. Must be another path there. Okay. Egypt. Looks like I'm running and um, laying down dynamite, but I'm actually stopping ever so briefly. <laughs> very careful when entering the next screens, especially in these higher levels, because of that, over and over again. Covered. Couldn't do that last time. One life left. Oh, God. One life extra left. And I fell for it again. Ridiculous. So stupid. Come on. Shoot, shoot, shoot. What was it? This is the one that it was over here, right? Good luck. Two more levels to go. And I run right into the spikes. Oh my god. Barely getting a better score. Because I wasted too many lives early. Doing stupid stuff. Let's do it. And I refuse to stop until we get to level 12 because that 
is what you need to get maximum points. Because this game stops, the demo stops at level 12, so... Makes sense to try for level 12. Although you get so few points with these long spikes in the floor are a new thing. Yeah, there's some uh, there's some new things uh, above Hero that uh, Muddy has added in, like the, the arrows shooting out of the wall. And of course the amazing graphics as well. The different themed levels. just to die on not so stupid stuff. Stuff that I expect to die on. Crap. 50 points where I can. Hey, Tari. I don't think your time starts till you press the joystick there when you're hovering about in a new level. Ugh. Missed some points. Come on, go down, go down! Oh my god. Wasting time. What did I do last time? I blew myself up with dynamite by just accidentally laying it down in the middle of nowhere. Not smart. some ways and not better than others. It's always nice when it takes out two at a time there. Oof, that was too close. Did not like how close that was. Level seven. I probably run away too far, but I would rather do that than accidentally get killed from stupidity. We used to be able to kill the snakes in the wall before they came out. Muddy fixed that in this latest update. Darn it. No! Ah, stupid death. Ridiculous death. Remember in Hero, it taking a very long time to laser out uh, doors. Ah, Egypt. Very tough. Nice. Maybe a little bit away from the wall. distract me, little cat. Ugh. It's kind of better in After Dark because I don't have as many lights blaring in my eyes. Still some lights. You guys don't know how many lights we have in this, so... Uh, studio to try and counteract the brightness of that in the back there. It's absolutely crazy. I'll have to read that message in a second. It's 
regards to an alternate path. Unfortunately, I'm terrible at memorization, so it's going to be tough. <laughs> like somehow maintain like I expect to die in that part maintain this minor minor tiny little uh, area in between spikes and water this guy is allergic to water oh my god I almost died there again oh my god really what happened I hit the light these running and going up at the same time and not stopping and there's no uh, extra room What is what? What killed me? Is there spikes in the roof there? Oh my god. God damn it. You can go down the right hand side of that second last level seven screen. You turn off the light, but you know to hug the left wall. You shouldn't have to use a bomb to shoot through. Second to last level seven screen. I'll try. Uh, 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 terrible score. Don't write that down because it's pointless. Not a good score. Maybe it was level eight. Oh boy, it was hard on me. I wonder where you run out at the end. Run out of um, oh dynamite. I don't know which one that is. It's right around then, seven or eight. But I'd have to know exactly which screen and which level. Level 11, death again. So hard. I am dying on stupid things. One was not getting far away enough from the dynamite. And two was getting hit by that stupid arrow shooter again. Stuck in the wall. And then I just don't have enough at the end of the game. from it. Don't wait. Like, technically, I could go down the right-hand side, but it might take longer on that last screen, because there's extra enemies there, and I wouldn't use a dynamite. Like, there's an optimized score, but you'd have to figure out what's worth more. Time or dynamite. Mm -hmm. You'd have to figure out how much time is worth a dynamite. Is, is. So it's quite a balancing act. I did. Oh my god. Like, you can't go down that one because there's a bat right underneath it. So it's obviously not level six. Oh, 
not a lot of bonus happening. So is this? Could I have gone down that side? No, another another wall. And a light out. Now is it the left hand side there? a dead end, so it's not that. Is it this? This side? Ooh, maybe. Oh, that's so much better. That was so fast. It is level 7. You can go down the right-hand side. Didn't even turn the light off. No, because I hugged the left. I don't know if that gave me a whole bunch more points, but it could have. Seemed really fast. Terrible! Terrible death. Terrible, 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 terrible. Right, hurry. How's it going? Whew. Level nine. Wasted at least one terrible. One life on a terrible death. Oh, could have died. Saved a dynamite going down there. Yeah. Too hard, Muddy. It's too hard. Now I have one life. It's too hard for me. <laughs> for me anyway. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, really? Because you don't. Ah, uh, and then I turn out the light. Oh, at least I can see the arrows coming. This is second one. Gonna mess up. No, nope, it's the third one. Oh, that was close. I'm fast and loose here. Not good. And... Okay, level seven. Go down the right-hand side there. At some point. <laughs> Well, parts of it were good, were good, but I keep dying on parts that I can easily avoid. That stupid arrow shooting out of the wall, I just, I never see it. I just think, it's, oh, it's blank, I'll go down, and it's time to shoot, like, right as you land. Was that level nine, right? I just have to think that level nine, level nine. Don't just run.
you get a lot of points for time. So I think anything that you do, um, just do it on the way. Don't be messing around with going back and getting things for 50 points. Don't think it was worth it. Pretty high scoring one. Level five. All the early ones are high scoring, but I think they're less high scoring because they somehow the level I think factors in to the points. The higher the level, the higher the level, the more multiplier there is. Could be wrong on that. Creepy gray spider. Creepy gray spider. Okay, level seven. Let's let's try and replicate that slide down the right hand side to avoid everything. So good. No, it's not Laura Croft. It's somebody completely different. And nothing to do with Laura Croft at all. Any similarities are purely oh my God. purely coincidental. Uh, any between any living or dead um, persons, uh, etc., etc. <laughs> Place ten with the cats. Oh my god. Mm. Um cat's not as talkative, but eh, what are you gonna do? Come with me and D. Uh, uh, Rod Castle, I just got alerted. Why is it Monday? Why are you playing something that looks like Hero? And most importantly, did you replace Tanya with a cat? Uh, yes, to all those things. Uh, Monday, we're just doing an After Dark, because I need to get some points in for this game. Um, I do miss Tanya, but, uh, Atari's not bad, Hey, eh? Yeah, Tanya will be back, um, be back soon. Hitfall Perry! That's right. Oh, I almost ran to the side there. Watch out for these lava walls. See, if you're really smart, unlike me, you could memorize the paths down and then, like, just barely adjust your, um, your falling and go whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. But yeah, not that smart. I gotta save some lives for the stupid spikes in water. This guy is um, aquaphobic. That's not the word, is it? What's the word for afraid of water? And it's related to um, having rabies. <laughs> what is the word for? Here it is! Yay! Um, hydrophobic. Yeah, hydro. There we go. Our electric company here is called BC Hydro because it runs off of water. So I should have known. Hydrophobic. This, oh, damn it! Last second, my 
finger slipped again, wasting so many lives on this bloody screen. This the one is two. This one's a two. No, it's not. It's not a two. It's a four. It's a two then a four. Die. Spikes there, I can see them. I'm not dying those spikes again. Oh, but those, yeah, I'll die in those. That's fine. Wait for that spider to come down. It's like zero bonus for this level. It takes so long. Ah, uh, 60,000. Level 11. You get quite a few bonus points for that slip down the right hand side on level seven that's for sure okay level 11 three lives the one i'm playing and two in reserve what do you think atari am i gonna make it to level 12 i think so i'm gonna die like i've died many many times i have to wait watch out for the Things that are shooting arrows. I know there's one because I died on it last time, right? Yeah, that's right. Don't come over here, though. Stay there. Stay there. What? 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 What just killed me? Oh my god. Oh, I stole the life. Oh my god. This is a nightmare. Oh, why did I just. What kills you there? Did I run out of time? It's so dark. I go on the screen and I die instantly. Like instant death for two times because I went up and back down. I think there's a bug there. Even if there is a snake in the wall, it kills you instantly. Was there another path on the right hand side? I'm going to look at that, because that, that's not good. That is not good. we got to look at that replay, because um, if there's like an instant death bug, that's not going to be very great. Okay, so we're going to do an instant replay here. We're all going to look at this together gonna be weird for you because <laughs> we've done this before and it freaks people out okay there we go um, don't worry I'm still live it's two of me I know it's weird okay here we go because this is just weird. Look, I die instantly, but there's something there. Now we'll be able to see it when I go out. Well, that was just stupid, but I accidentally go out and come back in. Oh, no, there. There's nothing apparent there. There is a right-hand path. There is a right-hand path. Let's see if we can catch it. What is actually killing me? Frame by frame. Okay, next frame, next frame. Instant lights out. I'm at the top. Oh, look at that. There's spikes on the left-hand side. There it is. Yep, that's what it is. Spikes on the left-hand side. Tricky. So, on level 11, when you start going down... You, you just want to go down the right-hand side there. You'll have to blow away a wall. Okay, okay, okay. 
Oh boy. And there's a bullet coming on the right path too. Well, it goes right across the screen. Yeah. Okay, let's do it again. What was my score, actually? <laughs> oh, I didn't see it. But I did get better. I did get better. Let's see, 60,908. Z P H. Let's get the chat back up here so I can see what you guys are saying. Hey, 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 we didn't get to do this as we were kids. We dealt with frustration, sort of the darn thing out. Not necessarily. You could be um, film um, recording. You could have recorded back then. And you could have recorded on a VCR, ran it through a VCR, through the RF in, RF out to the TV, even if you had a Betamax, <laughs> and you can go frame by frame. And you could do exactly what I did. So it's not cheating. <laughs> in the... Uh, 70 cents of the word? Like when did uh, Betamax tapes come out in VHS? They were late 70s, right? How instantaneous is the rocket packs left in this game? It is absolutely instantaneous, which is why this is a thousand percent superior to Hero. That is the only thing about Hero that bugs me, is that the lift is not instantaneous. There's the press and it stops, and then you have to wait two seconds, then it goes up, and in the meantime, you're dead. Because the thing you're trying to get away from is has got you. <laughs> uh, nope. That would be a rage reset. I definitely will not be dying on the second level. Rage reset! Yeah, you're using the new shaky rage reset. Very appropriate. I'm gonna make a um, a trigger that people can do on the stream for when I do a rage reset, um, and it'll go rage reset on the screen. I haven't had time to do that, but it's on my to-do list. Yeah, it wasn't super rage. It's more like ugh. was rage. Just a um, small inner rage. A peaceful rage. I used to record my Atari gameplay to Betamax video uh, back in the day. I used to record um, crack trows on my cassette deck. So it's such great music. And and video game music as well. Um, and I would I would like I would make um, chiptune compilations. Um, so I could just listen to them at any time rather than load up the games. It was just like a super convenient squished range reset. That's a little bit more appropriate. A squished range reset. ever recording anything in video although there was a cartridge around you could use to plug your vcr and record your software on vhs oh yeah and the audio i would guess would be would be slightly bit better than cassette i would think the bandwidth i think the bandwidth is a bit better this is um a bit better on a vhs because it went at an angle, if I'm not mistaken, rather than the heads, because the heads on a cassette tape were straight across, and on a VHS, it was like an angle, so you got a lot more bandwidth per second. Yeah. 
when I um, recorded oh, level seven, I know which way to go. It's down the right hand side. Not this right hand side. Next right hand side. This right. Oh my god, this is a terrible run. Terrible run. Uh, my lives. Uh, these games, uh, in terms of cartridges, work on the Dragonfly and the 7800 GD. They do not work on the Concerto because they are too big until the add-ons come out. Um, they won't. So you have to emulate if you don't have one of those two devices. Okay. Is there a point? Probably not, but I'll keep going. Terrible, terrible three deaths in a row. Try not to get killed by that. Um, well, there's so many dangers that are going to kill me. One is having to fly under those stupid spikes in the water. One is forgetting on the next level to not drop down and uh, get killed by the arrow. James is proficient. What would you say the gameplay? Would you say the gameplay is identical to Hero in all aspects except like the movement? Um, all aspects except one, which is the instantaneous flying of your jetpack. It is a thousand times better than this, because you press up, and it's right away. Um, as opposed to Hero. So nothing shooting me yet. As opposed to Hero, where you have to press up, and you're like, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Is that level nine where there's a shooty, shooty, shooty thing? Did I like totally miss it? What the hell? Is it coming up? It's on, there. It's on level 11? Yeah. Let's go. Don't be dumb. There it is. How to deal with those it's so hard yeah i i hated the lag before this game even came out so it wasn't like here it is it wasn't like oh, oh my God. calm calm serene part four calmness last life Even though I'm not gonna make it. Because there's deadly deadlies coming up. But hey, jet engines can take time, so I always looked at it as a realistic touch. Yeah, you know, it takes time to fire them up. But yeah. um, is that spiky wall equivalent? The equivalent of the magma? Yeah, it's instant death. Anything. You, I mean, you touch anything in this game, it's instant death. Uh, anything like spikes, uh, enemies. Uh, nothing really takes down your power. Like slowly saps it. Only time. So, yeah, every, everything's instant death, really, in this game. Oh. 
think this is like the only, only like the second time I've ever done a broadcast by myself. Just beat that fifth place. Whenever you go on a screen, everything resets, so you have to keep that in mind. Remember, level 11, go down the right-hand side. Almost right away, isn't it? It's almost right away. But, uh, oh, shouldn't disturb him. He'd be like, hey, you wanna play? You want me in your lap? I'm like, no, no, I'm trying to do scores. It's not good when I'm trying to do scores. Normally, yes, please, cat's in my lap. And Sprite has taken to my lap. He's past couple days because Tanya's been away. Usually he's in Tanya's lap, which is to my annoyance, but uh, Tari chooses my lap. We each, we each get a cat, a cat to cuddle. At least not a super long game to do um, high scores on. Oh my god, again! Just enough room for me to go down. That's not a really good time. Is it? Uh, there's the only, usually there's only one path. Yeah, see? One path. Why did I die there? No excuse. Nope. Pointless. Two terrible deaths equals not high score. Blow that bat up instead. Uh, maybe you have one left over. Oh, the one I keep dying on? Yeah. Yeah. It gets so much. I'm going for points, so I just need to get better. <laughs> Substitute lap. Yep. He's like, there's no Tanya, so I guess I'll go for second place lap. He's such a hot cat. His temperature is out of control. I don't know why Sprite is such a warm cat. He's just got a very high running engine. <laughs> I don't know how much you get per dynamite, but I know it's a, a decent amount. So I'd rather not use a dynamite if I can. I'll just play better. Yeah, his fur is very fluffy, and his paws are just out of control warm. Super, super warm. It's a fluffy, fluffy cat. I just think it's more to the right than it actually is. It's tough in those spots where you can't really run away too far. Just don't want to accidentally hit the lava walls. Like there. This is the guy. I'll just avoid the whole thing. I mean, he did change it so when you turn around, you don't. Um, you don't move, you just turn around, because before, when you turned around while flying, you would actually move a little bit, and that would kill you so quickly. But in this new version, you actually just turn around when you just tap it, which is so much better. I think it's really cool that we get to interact with the developers because you just think back 
Um, in the 80s, you had no input. No input on the games. If you didn't like part something that happened in a game, you're like, oh well, this is what the game is. You just have to deal with it. Like, if um, we had access to the developers um, in the 80s for Hero, we'd be like, can you, like, not have the pause? And, um... Maybe they'd be, like, they'd be like, yeah, maybe that pause is a bit annoying. I accidentally turned out the lights there. Didn't do that the other time, so I was like confused where I was. Um, plus you get more points for blowing up walls. Let's see. You could have gone right on that lights out screen. I don't know which one. I guess you could go right and blow up the wall instead of wasting the bomb on the bat. Mm. Really? Really? Maybe it is my fault that Bernie crashed. What is happening? What's happening? That was a good run. And all my lives. No! Ready? No! 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 Yeah, Arg is right. I don't know what that's due to. It's never crashed before this game. I'll let Muddy Funster know. You win. You win the purple screen of winning! I beat the game, made it to the final boss. Purple Blob. He's a hard boss to beat, because you're not even on the screen with me. But apparently I got him. Crash Bandicoot. Ah! That was too hot here. I'm not too hot. No, temperature's fine. Hmm. I'll have to, uh, you know, message Muddy after. Message Lewis about where to see the crash during the stream. See if he can, if he thinks that it's, maybe it's my system. Because he did acknowledge that RT does have some issues. So the crash was not, like, super... When it crashed on the stream the other day, it was, like, super unexpected. This one. This one's coming out in three weeks. Uh, hmm. Crashy crashes are not good. And the game has gone gold already. That's a level that many, many, many people have passed. It's an early one. And I've passed it many times on this stream. So why all of a sudden? Why, why? to know. Only for me to report. Such a crash can make a dev sick. Yeah, like, really upset. Because they're like, uh, okay, in that particular instance, on that person's system, during that game, it crashed. Why? And there's, like, no way to... Did I go down the wrong way? This is the down. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's 
Not even the path I was supposed to take. This is the path. Two lives down. We'll keep motoring. We'll keep motoring. Oh my god, it's, uh... It's the, um... Atari Vox going insane. Can you guys hear that? <laughs> Oops, this way. Hush, Atari Vox. What is that? Oh, the spike's there. Turn that off in a second. I'm in the middle of a level. And it's dialing. Oh, and it's fading away. That was weird. Oh, it's back. Oh my god. Sound like it's gonna self-destruct in five seconds. Oi. <laughs> okay, Atari Box, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Noisy. Is it gone? Because I turned it off? Yeah, it's crazy. Let me know if it's still making noise. All I did is turn off the speaker. But I think that gets rid of the um, transfer or the audio. I can't. It's gone. Okay, thank you. Good. That was quite something. <laughs> Random gibberish going through the Atari box from the game. It also does that on boot, too, so... But I don't think this, um... Yeah, this game uses Atari Vox for um, recording high scores, but there's a lot of data being sent to it um, when you boot the game. So hopefully Muddy... Well, Muddy heard it last time when we were, when we were playing. I'm pretty sure, so... We might be able to silence it. Okay. There we go. Just let it dive, and then slowly go up. I mean, it's analog, but... I mean, digital, so slowly is kind of subjective. Oh my god. At least I didn't die there. Maybe that'll even things out. It won't. <laughs> Oof. At least I didn't turn up that light. Blowing up um, walls with the lights out is not super fun. I can't believe that. Come on. Oh, no, this is... No, it's not level 11. I'm fine. Oh, my God. Uh, no lives left. Heading into level 11. Not a good, not a good time. At least I have one tactic. Go, don't go down the left. I think there's a shooty shoot thing coming up at some point. Okay, this is where you don't go down the left. Because there's a wall. Why did I go down the left when there was a wall? Yeah, see? Oh, uh, what? And was that? No, no, I didn't do that. There we go. There it is. There's the spikes. Okay. Slowly, because I don't know what's coming now, because this is the furthest I've made it. Oh, come on. I bet it's that way, because there's a snake and a wall. 
We don't want people going down the easy route. Okay. Of course. Okay, what's happening here? Ugh, lights out, of course. So we're somewhere to fall? Oh my god, what? What is happening? Oh, this is what happened last time. Oh my god, this is what happened last time. I couldn't find a way out. And I'm dead. Ah. There's blockages on both middle paths down there. You have to go on the outside from way up top, I think. Um, no, Artie doesn't have waterproof boots, unfortunately. He, he is um, hydrophobic. Okay, so that is my best score so far. Should I do it again? I will not do it again. I am fairly happy with that. I may I may return to it. Let's let's leave it at that. 62149. Thank you, Dan. Um, so we're gonna move over to Bernie. Bernie. Bernie in the Tower of Doom. And see if we can make it through it without crashing. Um, might be challenging because it crashed on Artie. This one as well, you need 7800 GD or Dragonfly, or if you have a mister, or use Argon or JS 7800 or a 7800 emulator. There's, there's a few options. Okay. Now this one, I don't have a score. Yeah, Tanya's on a work um, work trip until um, she'll be back on Thursday, the day I get my tattoo. So I won't be able to pick her up from the airport, um, which kind of sucks because my tattoo is on my foot. <laughs> Somewhere. Nobody guessed where it was. Okay, actually, let's, uh, let's do the poll right now before we start up Bernie. Because I was going to do a poll for what extra, which of these Activision games that I will be going for high score in for a patch score. Ah, a patch score tonight after Bernie. So the options are Robot Tank, Grand Prix, Dolphin, or Crackpots. I've attempted all of them, so I know they're challenging. Um, so put in your vote right now. So uh, Crackpots is number one. Robot Tank is number two. Dolphin three. Grand Prix four. From difficulty uh, hardest to easiest, I would say Crackpots is hardest. Crackpots and Dolphin, sorry. And Dolphin, Grand Prix, second easiest, and I would think Robot Tank is easiest, because it's just moving and shooting and trying not to get shot. And it is patch two out of three, so there's one level above the Robot Tank one. Oh, why are you all picking Crackpots? Why? Why? Uh, I, I have got close on Crackpots, so we'll, uh, we'll check that in a second. So let's do the Bernie. Okay, start the clock. Because this is based on a timer. Put that one in. Put that one in. Next best one is this. Oh my god. Oh, that's terrible. That's so terrible. Hi cats, come on. Oh my god. Turn the chat up. Oh my god, I'm wasting time. Hi 
I have noticed you have to fully wait till they're out of the um, off the screen before you do it. Uh, definitely won them. Uh, the Grand Prix Perfect Run is pretty, cha pretty challenging. I can't do it anymore. Yeah, that one is fairly challenging, but it is memorization. Okay, remember this one. Do the top. And then do the left side. Luckily, I did all these fairly recently. Oh, a little bit closer. Frumpkin. Muscle snail! Yeah, he's flexing his muscles. Oh. No, maybe I don't need to get him all the way here. Yeah, I didn't need to reposition that guy up above. I don't have a timer going, so and this one's based on time to complete. So I'll have to measure it after the fact. I mean, they're all fun games, so I don't mind playing any of them. There are some up there that are going to be a slog, so... Uh, I think I have to wait for this guy to pass. Then start doing things. Yep. Boom! 44. No, oh, don't jump like that. Okay. No! Oh, I didn't die. Oh, I did die. I thought I didn't die because I was in a daze. Um, then I do this. And then I make the path over. And I do that. And then I just drop, right? Oh, no, I can't drop. Oh, my God. This guy back, right? Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do I do it? Do I do it? Do it? No, you don't do that. Oh, am I gonna have to do this tower over again? I swear you just dropped down. You have to time it with that guy going away and the toilet. Um, that flying toilet is so. 80s European <laughs> games where there's just things all over the screen and they're insane. Okay, this should be a perfect time. Now I don't jump on it first. I wait for the toilet. What just happened? Well, obviously that's going to be a rage reset because taking that time when I have to redo the tower. And go. Rage reset. Especially on this game. At least to like clear tower one. I gotta go to the right with that toilet? Oh my god! Really have to wait till it's clear. Like 100% clear. Bernie is wider than a tile. Oh my god, I'm being so stupid. Oh, so dumb. At least it's very, very fast to get. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of there. I think Bernie is wider than a tile, so he catches on things, but maybe I'm just not. Okay, wait till it's clear. Wait till it's clear.
learn, go learn the new game. Figure it out. Yep, yep, yep. Oh well. I'm just gonna put a time. I don't care. I don't care. I don't have any time in on this game, so. I mean, high score times. So. Is that enough time? Yeah, I think so. Whoa! What game am I going to be playing? Looks like Crackpots! Yes, it does! In the lead by just a bit. Oh, I like crackpots. Dan Kitchen's game. Damn you, Dan. Well, if I get it, I can tell him I finally got the patch in his game. <laughs> okay, wait till he's gone. There we go. Is it necessary to finish the tower? When I plan don't finish, I just go through. Cat, what are you doing? Yeah, you have to finish the tower. I don't really think there's much choice. <gasps> no! <laughs> no, I didn't watch for that guy at the bottom. Stupid. I just, like, fell. Did not time them at, that up at all. Get the potion. Push the one block. Push the next block. I'll read your question in a second. It's not really any, um... Okay, now I can read it. Is it necessary to finish the tower? Yes. When I plan don't finish, I just go through since the patch path is clear and I never finish the game. I'm not quite sure. The potion allows you to um, push those blocks. So if you don't get the potion, you can't push those two arrowed blocks. Okay, this is the one where you have to lead the grumpkins as close to you as possible. No, no, no! Waste of time! Wasting my time! Wasting my time. This game is tile-based, so if you mess up, it's... It's... Hi. It's apparent, because you're on the wrong, wrong path. Uh, so there's really no option here. Here. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. Um, then I want to get this guy to this side. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. I don't know if I can do it. Nope. Need to wait. <sighs> Big size. Oh, cats are fighting. I don't usually get to see the cats fighting on the street. They're probably like, we haven't had treats, so we have to entertain ourselves. Ooh, that was unnecessary. Um, yes, so you have to wait just a bit. Not that long. Damn it. Yes, we will try that again. Are you not entertained? That's what the cats are saying. Oh, the ears are back. Oh, vicious cats. Oh, they're done. I'm channel points broke. Thanks to Atari. I don't know if uh, you can completely blame him. There's good. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. Might be able to do it. I 
knew that. I remembered I was close. Just have to save up your points again and uh, gamble responsibly and bet on uh, Sprite. Okay, next tower. Thank goodness. I will not be reading signs because that crashed it last time. so far there. Oh boy. Nope, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Just have to make it over here. And then wait. Do the bubble. And I'm finished this level. Good. It's much better than last run. Much better. Got so stuck on that one. Okay, this one is fairly easy. Let's just get all these flake, get that flake. Oh, I have to wait! I'm cutting it too close! Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think that kills you if you go into there. Anyway. So you get that. Get that. What does the wrench do? Oh god. Bye bye. The wrench moves that. That's how he falls down. He does die though. Oh my god. Three lives left. I do have to get the wrench. Okay. So very, very, very quick. No, I think I have to get one one of these, so it gives him enough time. Then I can get the wrench. Oh, yeah, and then I have to go get the robot, that's right. So I can switch that. Wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> There's only one, so that's all I need to do. I win. Oh, level. Thank you, RC70. I totally forgot what everything does. You have to clear the robot. Oh, now what do I do here? I think I'll have to go get that potion. Um, which means I have to go quick across there. And then I have to go back. All the bubbles. Oh my god! Mm. just oh my god I didn't do the bubble well, that's fine right is it fine what am I doing I have to drop that oh no I have to fall through the bubble well that's pointless death 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 that's right so I fall through the bubble yes we will try again um This is a trick. Which means to 
be aware of is you can fall off the ladder and it's faster than going up and over. So you have to get the potion. Then I have to fall on this. There we go. Now, I can just drop this. Right? Yeah. Now I have to follow him, so I'm going to follow him to the left. Now I have to fall just as he passes past so I can recover. Don't go too fast. Go! Oh my god. Such tight timing. Uh, okay. One life left, but I have one more tower to do. Right? Yes. Now, there is no, there's no time on it, so I have to remember how to do this because I only have one guy left. One guy in reserve? I don't know how this game works. Hopefully, it is one in reserve. So I have to go to the top because I cannot jump on those. And I have to go get that cheese. While going down, I will get the stars. Just take it slow. Get the cheese. Okay. Now, what do I do? I trap these guys. Oops. No. Nope. Open that again. Close it. Okay, good. And I get this star. Then I eliminate the mouse. Oh yeah, this is the one I said, well, this is easy. But, um, yeah. Two, four. So is this it? No, it's one more. Oh god. This is the super fast one, because... Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around! You have to go immediately. Like, no attempts left! Brrr. The side. The side. Do the right hand side. Can't do that. Can't you can't move in between them. Ugh. When I, you have to run immediately. Fourth level of this tower. Like, immediately. So you can make it onto the ladder and, like, make your escape. Or make it to safety so quick. So you kind of have to know the level. There we go. Flip the switch. By the time we make it up, he should be on his way back almost. Floor complete. At least when you redo a floor, you're kind of like, oh, I, I know how to do this. It doesn't take it as long, which is good. Okay, do that. Pop the bubble. Wait. Wait till... Ah, I pressed it, but it didn't move. 
three lives. Okay. That was close. No! Pretty much have to go right away. As soon as I recover. Oh. Okay, that worked. And then right after he passes, because he's pretty slow. And go, 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 snail! Flex your muscles! Oh no! Don't kill me! Have pity on me! Oh, uh, RC70 saw it before I did. Oh, and they, Muddy Funster did that completely on purpose so that you do miss it like that. Oh, my lives. Wasting away my lives. I'll do it this time. Oops. That doesn't matter. I'm gonna make it in time. No! Go! Oh, so stupid. Oh, I'm gonna wreck this whole thing. Wasting lives. Next level's easy. The next one I haven't done completely, so I don't fully know how to do it. No, you just have to speed on level four, two, four. Timing. Timing. Yeah, you have to time that perfectly. Well, you get a bit of leeway there. No much. life left. Um, this one I should be able to do. One life. Because it's just purely just do it. Just a mechanical thing. Because those guys don't really pose a threat because you just trap them in the pit. And they really can't help but go in the pit. That's their only option really. Thank you Dan for posting the Bernie link. Uh... And uh, yeah, everyone goes in the pit. And then I close it up. And then that's it. There we go. And then I get that star. Then I get the mouse. And then I get the other star. And then I run as quickly as possible to the right. Run, 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 run. run. Don't go for the star. Go up the ladder. Okay. Then I wait for him to come back that way. Get the star. Go back up the ladder. Reevaluate my uh, life choices. Okay. No, I did make it here last time. Um, and I made it out as well. Now, what was it? I drop down. Not through the left hand side, because then it's it's death. Um oh boy. Oh boy. If I drop down the right hand side, I have to time it super well, because I'm gonna get mushed. And I just run across the bubbles, run back, do the star. Then run across the bubbles again. Oh, no, 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 no. Run across the bubbles. Just as kind of approaching, but I'm going to get hurt. So I should fall down just as he's passing. 
run across the bubbles, run back, do the star, run back to the first bubbles, go down the right hand side, lead the Grumpkin to the right, fall down the bubble again, run to the left and do that star. Sounds like trouble. <laughs> Right? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna have to give it a try. Run! Oh no! Oh, I can still do it. There's two of them. Oh, no attempts left. Yeah, definitely that sleepy guy on the right hand side. There's two of them apparently. And they can split up somehow. I don't know if that factors in when I actually do it. I think Tanya's right about the ladder, though. Oh my god. That was so dumb. I thought he was just gone. But he was not. <gasps> no, he's gonna get me, he's gonna get me! Ah. Uh, oh. I am just going to die. I'm going to do a rage reset. Not a rage reset, but a, a death reset. So I need all my lives. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. Kind of a rage reset. Soft reset. Oh, that life is not in reserve. Mmm. Not the way I choose lives. We told it took a poll and you're wrong. <laughs> Cause I like lives in reserve. And I think when we did the poll, everybody else does too. Most people. And I wait and I wait, then I go. There we go. Oh, that's really efficient. That's like the most efficient way to do that. Too bad I've done this tower only like three times so far. Get that. Get the flakes. At least it's fast. Oh, good timing. I get that. Wait till he's gone. Get the robot, flip the switch. And he's going that way, which is not optimal for timing. I have to read that in a second. The guy falls through the hole you made from the bottom. Oh. Oh, does he? That's a good thing, right? I think he made this game so that if you pause it, Ah, uh, the screen blanks. Four. The easier one. More tutorial level than anything. Because there's no real danger or timing involved, really, other than going up that ladder the first time. for them all to fall down. Flip the switch again. Run up. It's nice having five lives going into uh, this next level. Okay. I, I'm pretty sure I still need to run immediately. 
and then go up the ladder immediately. But don't need to run immediately, because that guy doesn't go across. Ooh, that might be a tactic, actually. Damn it. I'll do that next time, because I will die. Um... <laughs> Like, oh, the green guy. That's why there was two green guys. I was wondering. Oh, you don't. Oh, you don't get mushed. Okay, so I don't need to run immediately. But I can run across and do that top star right away. And then run back. That's perfect. Run back, drop down, lead the blue guy as far right as possible. Oh yeah, that's great. As far right as possible. Go up the ladder if I can. Quick, 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 quick. Oh, that was so, so close. Then I'm going to do that star on that side. And then I'm, then I'm, then I'm done. Really. That I can just sit here for. And then I just fall through and get that star. Yes! I was making it much more... Oh, tower complete as well. Thank God. Oh my God. Ding, ding, ding. Okay. Total attempts, 38. Not great. So we're not reading signs because that's what uh, wrecked it the last time. Um, not talking to any wizards. I'm just doing towers. Other than the wizards I have to talk to. Crater tower. Okay, let's get the strength potion. There's some bubbles there that disappear. There's some things I need to push, but I can't. I need to get across to that star. But I need to flip that switch. Ooh. Ooh. Oh boy. What the hell. I need to get those three moving blocks down there. Oh. Okay. I can position them on the trap doors wherever I want, theoretically. But how do I get past them if I'm to the right of that? Say I kill that right-hand bubble tower. Fall down. Push that to the right. Then it falls down, makes a trap. I can still get back there, go up around, probably pop that first, that bubble first. Oh, yes, 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 I think. Yeah, pop the bubble, which creates a hole. Uh, no, because then I can't... Then I can't get across to those other guys. Or can I? Let's see. Yeah, then I can't get push the blocks. How do I pop that bubble and get those blocks? Damn it. it doesn't make any sense. At least there's no time limit. Oh my god. Um, but I have to get that star in the right hand side. The only way I can get that star in the right hand side is to pile up two blocks right there. And I know the last thing I need to do is jump on that. 
duke, duke, duke thing. Theoretically. I don't even think, think I need to do that. I can just fall through the trap door down there. Or can I? Oh my god. What the hell? Okay, I have to pop that bubble. But then there's no path to get across. Don't get it. I think I'm gonna have to do this a little bit different. I think I'm gonna have to get that star first. Yeah, the switch turn drops the uh, drops the floor down, and then brings it back up again. I think I'm just gonna have to take a chance on this. Actually, this is just the first level. So, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. wanted to just push it once and then I go down this then I go across then I push the next one over here because I have to get this then it's gonna be very go down the ladder but I pop the bubble now sure let's pop the bubble if I drop both of those down no I think I think I'm good I think I'm good but I need to position this next. Then I need to position this here. Then I need to drop them. They're all going to fall. Then I need to do this. Yep. Then I can push this one over. There. Now this is all about timing. Booyah! Pole is closed! Oh, missed it. I will check it after because it does retain. Let me just make sure that what did win. Um, well, I'll assume the other thing won. Um, crackpots. I don't think anybody else voted after that. Okay. That one's not bad. Okay, is it panic time? No, it's not panic time. Well, I'll get the star. That's a that's a give. Okay, so there's trap doors on every level and a switch on every level. Oh, hello, Johnny the Whiz Kid. Thank you for raiding. Um, we are doing some high score run-throughs of some games for the 7800 this is bernie and the tower of doom so i might as well throw the switch oh no oh i see interesting Ooh, if i time it right oh no i have to go too <laughs> okay well still if i time it right i can trap guys not on my level oh god Maybe I should just keep them open. I think I should just keep them open. Finally beat Vectorman on Sega Genesis. Congratulations. Yes, new 7800 game. Yeah, I think I should just keep these open. It's, it's, oh, I can't. Oh, God. Oh, this is going to be the death of me. Wait till the opportune time. Ah, uh -huh. see, they can't close the doors. I can. Oh, what I should do is wait till that guy's near it, then go to the switch side, 
close it. Yes, now I get it. Now I get it. Uh, you going to the Portland RetroCon? Yes, I will be at PRGE. Will you be there as well? Okay, now I'm just going to run for it. Close it back up. Nice. So oh, good. I trapped him. And do not miss PRGE every year. I definitely try to go every single year. Okay, let's do this. Close it up because I'm safe. Ah! There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, what? But I jumped. Now, PRGE is incredible for retro gaming. And, um, of course, our Atari Age has a massive booth. And Champ Games is going to have their, uh, their own booth this year as well. Okay. Let's do this. I think... Okay. Ooh, I'm on a ledge. And there's a toilet. And there's an ice block. There's the gold leaf for the ice block. There's the strength thing, which I can get right away. So there's a safety on the ladder. Let's do that. Let's get the strength. Go up the ladder and think some more. Can't go across there, but I'm safe up here. Okay, there's a star. Now this block is definitely to get across this. And that block also helps get across. Do the star. Move over, do the star. Get the gold leaf. Now we have to think. We drop that, which will enable the guy to go across, which is fine. I can melt the ice block immediately. I just have to time it where the toilet's up, which is good. And the guy is not close. It gives me enough time to recover. Ooh, this one might be it. Yes. I'm going to just get out of the way of the toilet. And do it. Yes. Uh, yes, I will. Though I'm nervous because of how worse the city has gone in regards to crime, so I'm wary of going outside. Uh, I'll be with friends at least. Uh, around the convention, it's totally, totally nice. Really good area. Um, go a little bit north of the convention, it gets a tiny bit sketchy. Around um, the ground control arcade, it, I would say it's like 75% sketchy to 100, super sketchy. Um, if you're going to ground control arcade after um, one night or whatever, um, definitely Uber it and just go straight in. But around the convention during the day, Oh my God, it's totally fine. So yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it, especially if you're with friends. Um, depending where your hotel is as well, yeah, it's not too bad. Downtown gets, it's it's outside of downtown, so it's not, it's not too bad. Is this the last level of this? Level four. Okay, so I have to get the strength. Then that part's done. But I want to fall, but not yet. I need to push that thing in the middle of the screen over to the right. Okay, so I need to get that and fall down here. Push that. Now, which one? This really doesn't matter because you can climb back in the. I need to get that cheese. I'm going to give the option for that. Hmm. Get the cheese. Go back up. What is that thing? Oh, it's more cheese. It's like weird. It seemed weird looking to me for a second. Get that. Um, I don't want to fall. I want to go down. Can I block him? Ah, even better. Get that guy. Jump. Go back up. Okay. Well, that was much easier than I thought. Floor complete. Tower not done. Okay, I need to get a move on really quick. Ah. Uh, okay, let's just get that one right away. Keep moving. He's going to be going to the left. No! Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Wait for this guy. This guy's going to chase me the whole time. 
Ooh, I gotta go. Oh no! Oh, I've got one. This is my last guy. Oh, okay. There's this, right? And go around. And push that. That these are these are not too bad. Um and do that. And do that. And flip the switch. And push that over. And flip the switch. And go down. The cheese looks like a desert skull first. Yeah, it did. I think it might have been the background or something. It's very strange. I move lots faster than him. Okay. Good stuff. Military. It's good. Uh, this one was not too bad. It was all about timing. Oh, oh, no, no, no. The timing is bad. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let's do that. Um, so I want to time the guy above me. There we go. Oh god. Run, 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 run. There. There, 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 there. There we go. Close it up. Got a good go. Oh, close. Good. Okay, I think I'm good now. They're very behind. And they're all on the last, all on the same level, too. Okay. Now I just run to two levels down. Close that up. Now I'm in the clear. Oh, that would have been better if that guy fell. So let's make him fall. Close it up. Oh, no. Don't close it up. No! 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 Run! No! I was doing so well. Okay. Let's do that again, but better. No, I did it again. <sighs> Wasting all my lives. Terrible. Okay. Run, run, close it. Meh, 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 meh. let them fall down to the top areas and you followed them down. Oh, right. I just needed to find a spot where they wouldn't get me. I think that was just kind of lucky that I was on a, a ledge that they couldn't get to by falling. This one is like, don't miss the stars as you pass past them. Uh, okay. Wait for the toilet. Good timing. Bring guys far away. Oop. Oh, okay. Press jump instead of what I should have done. Okay, 3 3. Now, this is panic time right away? No. This is this. And there's that. And there's this. I didn't mess up on this one. It's the next one, right? Yeah. This one is just don't hang over the bubbles too long. Looks more like a mask with little, like little teeth and a big nose pointing up. That's what it looks like to me. And we're going to trap this guy again because that was so good. Goodbye. Whoa, I disappeared for a second. That was weird. I missed the star. 
<gasps> oh no! No! Oh, now I'm gonna have one life going into the next. Dumb. Uh, Johnny the Wizkid. Okay, man, I will leave you to it. Uh, love to stream Atari game someday, but now i got to think of a new game to play tomorrow. Maybe an N64 game with the Jaguar. Jaguar. But I look forward to seeing you uh, at the con in October. See you there. I don't know what you look like, but this is what I look like. So uh, look out for me. Say hi. I'll give you some uh, stickers and all that kind of fun stuff. So I got the star this time. We're all good. See, I disappear there. That's very interesting. Wonder if it's not expected. Yeah, looking forward to PRGE. Three weeks. Three and a half. Three and a half. Okay, here it is. Okay, time to panic. This guy follows me all the way down, but he's going the opposite way, I think. Well, might as well get that and go. Oh my God, I gotta get him going quicker. I gotta go. Oh, might as well, oh no, 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 that blue guy comes too. No attempts left. Wasted them all being very dumb. not be dumb this time. I'll be the opposite of dumb. Whatever that is. But I'll be able to do it faster. That was almost dumb. Not great timing there. Just getting through this game is going to be... Okay, what was it? I was like... Letting them all go past me? Well, I can't let them go past me here. Kind of. Oh, oh, oh. It's not bad. Uh, oh, good. No, but I can only let... I don't think I can time it very well. Damn it. Ah, no! Run, no! Oh, this level is challenging. <laughs> I think I'm trying to be too, too tricky now. Ah, no! My lives! I'm gonna wait till that guy above me is past that platform. He is just being too much tr- Oh my god. Oh my god. To go down the other side. Oh, every time. Oh, my lives. Ugh, not great. There, is that pretty good? That's pretty good. Close it. Ah. Oh my god. 
need to like get down the right hand side. There we go. No! Damn it! No! No! Bernie, why Bernie? What's going on here? Who's this BBG Double Down? We. I'm just gonna die. Because. Oh, wonder what happens here. Oh, spikes. Missed the spikes. Trying for. Um, fastest time in the demo. Um, for the homebrew. Oh, I'm not strong yet. Oh, that's okay. Oh, I might have messed up the bubbles. We'll see. Maybe not. Maybe I'm still good. Nope. I'm not still good. No. Purple. Okay. We're moving on. Moving on to crackpots. Crash. No time. And I will not be submitting a time for that game. Because it crashes. And I'm not gonna waste an hour. Ugh. Um, playing the game. Not wasted, it's fun. But I'm not gonna do that. Um just have a crash an hour in. That's just so, so frustrating. Old purple screen of death. Yeah. And uh, Muddy Funster said he knew, he knows what that is, so he's going to be able to, um, to fix that. Okay, so we're going to move on to Crackpots, which was voted for the third game. Ooh, I bet I have the, the cartridge. Let me see if I have the cartridge to load up. Crackpots, 2600, Activision, Crackpots, oh yes, nice, do have the cartridge, here we go, okay, I switched out, 2600, and I'll check what my last high score was. Oh, it worked. Yay! Using the actual cartridge. Yes, you want the hot spot there, but I can't. Let's actually open a window. It's getting hot. Hot, hot, hot. It's toasty. Oh, the air's escaping. Okay, so there's crack pots. Let's check what I got last it's time. It's treat time. Yum. Oh, good yum, timing. yum, yum. It's treat time. Who rang the treat time? Charles Wheeland. The cats, thank you. Now, let's see if I can do this on my own. It's going to be a challenge. But the cats are hungry, so I should do it. Cat cam. There we go. Now we'll reset the scores. There we go. Zero, zero. And we will bring up... Yes, yes, you'll get your treats. You will get your treats. Yes, you will. Okay, anybody who wants to bet on who will get the most treats, I will start the predictions right now. So if you want to, you've got two minutes to click on which cat. The button's up at the top of the chat. Click on which cat you think will win. We'll get the most treats, or get to 10 quickest. We've got Sprite in this corner right here. We've got Atari right here. Um, Sprite is the favorite. So I would say odds are about at every four to five times Sprite wins. But you could um, make your money back if you bet on Atari and he gets it because a lot of people will be betting on Sprite. So it's which one you want to go for. So it's three on Sprite, one on Atari. Ooh, somebody is going for you. Hey, somebody thinks you're going to get it. 
Oh, very low. Low bet on Atari. Very smart. Very smart. Somebody could scoop all that up if they do a big bet on Atari or bigger. It's 10, only 10 points on Atari. That means uh, it's going to be a big win. Big, big win. Yeah. So you've got about uh, 30 seconds left. Meow. You guys almost ready? Okay. Let's move everything over so I'm ready. We've got about um, 20 seconds left. I don't see any betting stuff. Must be ad block or whatever interfering. Uh, maybe some people say they can't see it. It might be ad blocker. People haven't figured that out yet. Not quite sure. I think my script blockers failed me. Oh no. Oh, three to three now. Some more people betting on you. Ooh. Okay, and time is almost up. Time is up. There we go. So we've got 5,000. No, no, no. I know. You can't do it yet. 5,000 points on Sprite, 510 on Atari. Well, some people believe in you, Atari. Are you ready? I have to shut the door. No, come here. Don't go out there. Come here. Don't go in the hallway. Come on. Kitten, come here. You're going to miss your treats. Come on. Come on. Very silly cat. Okay. Are you ready, cats? Yes, you are. Okay. Let's do it. There we go. And Atari, they're both off to the races. They're both dinging like crazy. It's going to be a little bit slower of a, of a game because I have to award the points and keep track of them. So this may not work. Sprite and Atari. There you go. Oh, I can do that. I can do that. Okay, one hand on the mouse. Sprite. There you go. 3-2 for Sprite. It's not as easy doing it by myself. Oh, Sprite gets another point. No, you got to ring it. There, very strong ring. 4-3 uh, for Sprite. 5-3 for Sprite. 6 three for Sprite. Didn't see if Atari rang that. I don't think he did. Oh, another one for Sprite. Come on, ring the bell. Ring it. You don't get it if you don't ring it. No, don't move it around. Gotta hit it. Another one for Sprite. Eight, three. Oh, Atari. Getting destroyed. Here. Gonna move it over. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nice, strong one for Atari. Four points. Oh, it's game point for Sprite now. There's no chance, unless there's some cheating going on from Sprite, like attacks. Oh, my goodness. That's a good move. Sprite is distracted. Oh, and it's game point. There we go. It is 10-6 and some consolation prizes for the cats. There we go. Good round for sprite not so great for atari you had some people betting on you atari you let them oh my god being attacked by jaguars okay ah it's so hot okay let's open the door Good kitties. Okay, let's dole out the points. Where is it? Come on. There we go. Okay, prediction outcome. Choose the outcome. It was Sprite yet again. He's been just cleaning up. Let me just switch back and see what the final things were. Oh my god, it's messy. <clears throat> Would have been a nice big payout. It would have been a huge payout. So Charles Whelan was the top better for uh, the top winner. He bet on Sprite, uh, 5,900 bytes on Sprite. And he got the majority of the winnings. Good going. Okay. So now it is time... 
to play crackpots. So let's see what my old score was. Tari needs the bell to be arm's length away. Well, he repositions himself too. So that is a, a, an issue as well. <clears throat> okay. Let's see my old scores. Cats, what are you doing? What are you doing? You silly cat. He's looking for more treats. You got, you won. You got the most treats. Very silly. So for crackpots, let me do a search here. Switch back over, actually. I can show you guys what my last score was, too. Uh, my new web page. You are a monkey. What are you doing? You're crazy. So let's go to archive streams, crack pots. You need to get 7,500 points. And my latest attempt was about a year ago. And I got 56,440. And before that, 50,660. So that was in two years before that. So, uh, have I gotten better? I don't think so. But we will try. We will give it a try. So we've got, and this, this game is made by Dan Kitchen, released on Activision, released by Activision. And let's see, we've got uh, Double Down's joystick. Actually, it's plugged into the Atari, so let's check that out. And unfortunately, you have to press reset on this, which is a bit annoying. Oh, I can't hear anything. Oh, I know why I can't hear anything. Because the wrong things are plugged in. Because the uh, 2600 shares the same audio plug. That's the 7800. Okay. Rage reset. Luckily it starts with black um, spiders. Oh. I should be doing like double hits there. Oh, triple hit. I don't think you get any more points for that, unfortunately. Or do you? Oh, maybe you do get more points for double hits. That might be a good tactic, actually. Not that I can employ it very easily, because you're mostly fighting for your life. Can anybody confirm? Oh, there's no like. Oh my god. I was distracted for a second, and I've lost a life. Well, I've lost points. Infinitely harder. <sighs> Their patterns get much harder. And they get faster. And it gets to a point where the speed is insane. And I don't even know how you can survive it. It's just like so, so fast. You're relying on like how much floor you have left. Oh God. on game audio. Uh, I can't fix it right now, but I will fix it 
in after this after this game. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. It's probably because I switched systems. There's no pause. So Man, this game is very apparent if there's a game lag. Oh my god. Don't get penalized for dropping plants to the wrong spider, so. Oh my god. bonus points, which is really where you get the points, I believe. Oh, that was a good set of drops. And now it gets really, really hard. It does take a tiny bit of time to drop a pot, so... fast now. See, I can't even get over to the side to kill that spider. Like, if they go all the way to the left and all the way to the right, it's impossible. You've, you've definitely lost that spider. You just have to be so lucky to not have that and then that, see? Brutal. But they did, do give you, like, um, ugh, extra spiders to kind of work with. Ah, 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 no. Pause. <laughs> it's brutal. Ah. Just lucky on that. Ah, no. No, my first one. Yeah, it is a long way to 75,000. It's brutal. I need to figure out my strategy for these spiders. No, see? Cheaters, cheaters. Ah, uh, cheaters! I think you get lots of points for hitting them while they're on the floor. <gasps> oh, just barely. Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh, no, I didn't get it anyway. Double down. It is a good but challenging game. And it gets one of those games that gets harder as you get as you lose. Because there's less time to drop the pots on the enemies. So it's like, oh my god, really? See? Look at this. Look at this. Even if you commit to a spider, sometimes you can't even get there. Look at that. Oh. You have to be fairly well aligned with the pots, too. Oh, no, no, no. Now I die. Ah, death spiral, yep. Yeah. Yep, it's one of those death spiral games. Oh, now it gets even worse. They don't slow down. Some games, when you, like, lose a, a life or whatever, 
the game kind of gives you a, a freebie and kind of slows down a bit for you. I think this one does a little bit, but not enough. Uh, reds. Reds would be my undoing. Maybe they do slow down. They seem slower. Ah, no! Oh, just made it. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. Just barely. I can't make it fast enough. No. Doesn't help when you drop the wrong pots. I'm so lucky on some of these. No, no, no! Oh, just made it. What, what, why are they so fast? Stop it. Oh my god. I think on higher levels, you just have to kill them as they come out. Somehow. Ah, no! I'm getting some strategy, so I think I'll do better when... Oh my god, as I die. <laughs> and dead. And yeah, red's this low. Yeah, that's nice. That's easy. Ah, uh, I think reds. You want to stay like kind of in the middle. Yeah. No. Nah. That's it. Is that it? No. Yeah. It is. Uh, fun fact, only three Active Activision games were ever released in PAL, and they all start with C, Crackpots, Cosmic Commuter, and Checkers. Really? That's very interesting. Charles Whelan, I'll never get this patch score. 53-610. What, what did I say I did last time? What did I get last time? Let's see. Well, that's not bad. I just got 53, and my top score is 56. Does that mean I'm going to get a patch? No. Does it mean that I'm going to do better than last time? I hope so. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was going to do uh, fix the audio, because that's super annoying. One second. Let me know if it's in time now. Should be pretty quick to, um, to see if it's uh, timed up now. Because everything makes a good noise in this. Real good. Sounds pretty close. Should crash. Pretty close. It's good. Awesome. Thank you very much, everyone. Let him know. Yeah, I think you get massive points for killing them as they come out or while they're on the ground, so. Oh, I let one go on an early stage. Wasting points.
Oh my god. Stop just dropping pots. Patrick is obviously not working. <laughs> Randomly dropping pots does not help. The manual doesn't say anything about double kills. Oh, okay. Is it giving me more points for double kills? I can't confirm because I can't keep my eyes off the game. I think maybe just I heard that, oh, kill them on the ground because you will, it's just easier to eliminate some, like you just get extra possibilities that you might not have to deal with later. I think that was what I heard rather than, oh, you get extra points. So. Oh, no. See? Oh, it's just a second off. Damn it. No. Just dropping both pots, but they can sneak in Land between the pots. Or Thank you for following! Somebody! Can't see who you are. Wait a moment. I will in a second. Oh, I can't! Ah! Thank you for following! <laughs> this is one of those games that you get like millisecond breaks on. No! They're spacing themselves out, which is a good tactic for them. Makes it hard for me, though. Look, they're doing it again. Ah. What? No! I lose. Ah! There's a level already at 20,000. No. Is it not as precise as like pressure cooker? Pressure cooker, you have to be like exactly even with like the ingredients. It's so brutal. Thank God I finished pressure cooker patch. That one was just hard as hell. really did not get in, like, uh, trying to get the pressure cooker patch. I always get the green spiders at the top, and I don't like doing that. Because it's the last second. But I guess it's all relative. Just have to get, you have to let go on some of these spiders. Like, just don't go for them. Like, I knew I wasn't going to get that one, and I could have missed another opportunity by trying to go for it.
Oh, look at that. Yeah, yeah, great. Nice tactics. Oh my god. No, no, oh, the green's got me. Oh. Pressure Cooker is a very creative game. It's so hard to get the patch. I don't know if you've, anybody's tried to get the patch for Pressure Cooker. It's so hard. I had to have Tanya's help on that. Why is it being so difficult, so hard? And it makes you think your button's not working. Um, because after a while, um, after you lose all your extra bugs, you're not able to draw pots. <laughs> that was terrible. That was a terrible, terrible round. No! Just made it. Oh. oh, damn it. This one's not going as well as the last time. There's a lot of luck in this game, too, with double hits. A lot of luck. Or ground hits, too. It. Oh, I lost it already. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Thank you, Dan, for putting my RD score in. Uh, extend it again, huh? Well, what can you do? Well, kitten, let's give it another go. I don't, I don't know if I'll ever get the patch score in this game. It's so hard. I think I'm just going to have to, like, really lucky, lucky, lucky run. I think the problem is I'm losing lives way too early in the game. Especially the last game. I, I lost some lives way, way, way early. Good. Don't get the big points, though. Ah, missed one. <gasps> no. tactic i think it's like oh i think it's just like the first when the level starts hover over like the second pot 
and you just drop it at the right time and you'll get an extra at least one spider off your plate. Like this pot. Yeah, like that. It's a very good example, actually. <laughs> ah! yet because he uh, went up, went for it. So don't just randomly drop pots, drop them when you can, when you have some extra time. tactic on the red guys there. Lucky, lucky, lucky shots there. So lucky. To that far edge. Yeah, it's definitely the second pot. spider. Spiders are moving like more than 60 pixels a second now. So just booting it up the screen. <gasps> no! Yeah, you just have to accept loss at a higher level. those tactics for red. crazy now. I think this is like um oh, what's it called? Where it slows down once you um die. Very stressful game. Oh my god is it ever stressful. Oh it's so crazy fast. Yeah it slows down. 100% after you die. Oh my god, what what is what was all that nastiness? Oh my god. Stop it. Oh, just barely made it.
No! Those bastards. Mm. Oh, look how fast they are! You barely can adjust yourself before they're from the bottom to the top. Like, it's really almost like luck if you get these spiders. Oh, nightmare. Nightmare. Ah, the wrong one. Really, you make all the points in the black and uh, blue spider levels. <laughs> Getting there in time. <gasps> Red level. No! No! It's all over! No! No! <laughs> Barely, 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 barely made that level. Oh, damn, it's not lined up. so lucky. Ah. So lucky. No. No. Oh my god. Just barely. Come on, no! <gasps> That's it. Sixty four. Cool. Oh, my God, still going. Ah, 65. I thought my game was over. Ah. I don't think I would have done much better. 65! Oh my god! Kitten, can you believe it? 65,000! That's 10 short. Oh. That was really good. I should probably keep going. I start getting worse. <laughs> oh, it'd be so nice to cross this off my list. I just don't see getting 75,000. It's brutal. I mean, I'm getting better on the greens and the reds, but... Just insane. Like the preemptive dropping like just gives that slight edge you need, like like just barely.
Things get worth a lot more in the later levels. Yeah. I mean, they get a lot harder too. <laughs> no! 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 Ah! Oh my god, what a terrible, terrible run that level was. It only takes solace in the fact of what you just said, that points get a lot more in the later levels. The early levels don't really count for much as long as you don't lose the height. But everything counts. Everything counts. Control. It's getting too cocky. No. Damn it. Graphics and um, just the whole game is incredible. Ah, damn it. No! It in concentration. The red ones you really have to. God damn it, it's too early for this. Really messed that one up. really just play crazy on the red ones. You have to watch your angles. Oh. Don't spread out. Stop it. No. Sorry, I can't talk while playing this. This game is so much about massive concentration. Um, it's absolutely insane. You guys had to pick this one for me to play, huh? It's so hard. No! Oh, I'm getting them right at the end. Duh. Don't like that. <gasps> oh. oh, I was thinking of Kaboom, where you die on purpose because the levels just get so bloody hard. But you get extra lives in that one. This one, don't, there's no lives. You just lose them. Your, your building doesn't get built back up. Nope! Ah! Oh, missed the... Stop it. Nope, I lost it. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of luck with this one, BVG Double Down. Especially when they space themselves out. And you literally cannot get. But that's why they give you multiple bugs. To lose. Because I know that it's going to be 
impossible. Otherwise, they would just give like, oh, you miss one bug, you lose a life. do it this time. Not going to do it this time. Lost all my height on terrible run. Sorry about that. We'll do one, one more, and then we will give up. Because I made some terrible mistakes in that one. Mm. Oh, it's because it doesn't start off super crap, super hard, and it's just the black ones. Yeah, Tim was calling me. I'll give her a call after this game, because this will be the last game. I did pretty well. Very happy with that score of 65,000 or whatever it was. Very, very happy with that. Have a good night, Chow Star Now. Thanks for tuning in. Watch me try and get some decent scores in this crazy, crazy game. To give you more points for doubles. It does not. Oh, God. They're so much easier. Like you, all you have to do is drop it on the blue ones. They they don't go outside their realm. It's the green ones that go outside their realm of the pot. And of course the red ones. Red ones are the worst. The worst. Oh, my God. Oh, triple. Give me bonus points. <laughs> it's like, no, you get no points. Oh no! Oh god no! 
Once you get out of a rhythm on a level, you are done. I gotta watch a YouTube video of somebody that does plays this really well. Because you usually can pick up on tactics that people use, like especially the pot dropping, like in between time pot droppings. It's a strange sentence. Um, and like, oh, how do they handle like the bugs coming out? Do they drop them immediately? And different waves, do they treat them differently? Oh, God. Oh, I, I agree there has to be some tricks. Yeah. There's some tricky tricks for sure. Oh, I got in? There's always tricks. And I, I find watching the um, really good, like, high score um, people playing... You can, you can pick up just watching them like, really quick of what kind of tactics they use. Especially if you've played the game a bunch. Like after this, if I go and watch a video, I'll be like, oh, okay, that's how they handled that. That's how they handled that wave. That's how they open a wave like that. Usually does get an extra bug. I'm, oh my god. I'm surprised. Centered on the pot. It's like, what? Why isn't it working? Uh, now it's getting fast. This is where I start to lose life. Uh, a level of the um, of the building, and then it slows down. Thankfully. See, look at that. Like, is that a tactic, or do they come out at a regular pace? And you go. Psh score in Twix Twin Galaxies is... Oh, I missed it. Not enough time to look at the chat. Ah! No! 520,000 from 2003? Oh my god. Third place of, on Twin Galaxies is 75,000? Really? People would just like give up at 75,000? Oh my god, stop it! Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Haste! This is not the time. I hope it goes really slow at this point. It doesn't seem to be going really slow. I mean, it's slowed down, obviously. Ooh. Another bad round. Died twice. I was distracted looking at the chat. No! Conspiracy. No. Come back, pot. People just don't submit to Twin Galaxies because they're like, oh, my score sucks. But actually, nobody submits, submits on some games, so it's like, man, maybe you can do okay. Ugh. Time to get over there. Ugh. Nope. Oh my god. 
Hello. These higher levels, the pots go so slow that sometimes you can just drop the pot on the green guys and it'll definitely get them because the pot just catches them while they're wiggling back and forth because they wiggle so fast. Yeah, there's got to be some pot dropping um, techniques for the ones that just come out. points. I miss so many. I mean, the multipliers are big on the high levels, but don't really make the... That was a good round. <gasps> Go so fast up the walls! No! High score people are dropping pots a lot more than me. Huh? Okay. Damn it, it be lined up too. <gasps> this is where it ends. It ends right here. It ends right here. Yeah, they're probably doing this double pot thing. Like, especially on the red guys, that seemed to do fairly well. That's it. 63 for 60. I'm actually getting it consistently decent. They don't seem to necessarily be aiming, just luck, just drop for the luck shots. Hmm. Third place is 214,000, but they get to 75 pretty easy looking. Well, if you make it to 214, uh, I'll do one more. Because that was uh, not bad. I should maybe be dropping a lot more pots here. Especially when I have time, right? And I think it's the second, third, and fourth one that you really want to drop. Right, look at that. Just clean up. Do I have to be a little bit tactical with the red guys? Triple. the dropping on the green guys, that's for sure. Actually, you can get up the levels a lot faster by just quickly killing the bugs by doing this random dropping. Ah, 
No, it's not working. No! I can't die this early! Damn it. I mean, it's a combination, I think, of the random dropping. I'm not doing so well on random, just pure random dropping. But if you combine the random dropping with tactical dropping, well, not doing that. <gasps> Damn it. be a lot easier with all black bugs. I agree. They should make an all black bug level. All black, oh my god, what am I doing? All black bug version. Teddy bear version of it. It's terrible, terrible. One point. <gasps> no. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's recover this. That was bad. Sometimes, but then I get distracted other times. Yeah, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Ah! <gasps> oh, I got it. Ah! Definitely cleaning up the bugs that are doing that are going like really far out of their way. That are like spreading themselves out because I kind of get those bugs sometimes accidentally. Not there. As they do exactly what I tell them. Really good at re reading the red angles. Maybe focus more on the movement for red. Yeah. Really gotta focus on the red movement, I think. <gasps> it does take like a quarter of a second or half second to um, drop a pot, so you can't just go click, 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 click all the way along. You ki it kind of have to stop. comes down to a mix of random dropping and oh my god, tactical dropping. Oh my god, they were just like going opposite sides. 
Boo! First. I mean, it was fast, but... Nightmare mode. How you get high scores, people? Uh, ah, one bug, one bug. So you get all your points from at the end of the level, where they count up how many bugs you have left, and that's where you get all the points. No! Oh! Dead. Dead, 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 dead. That's it. One more time. One more go. Pretty far away. 65,000. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. Oh, barely. A joke. Those expert players probably ne never get their building down this low, so oh, this is death. Death. You drop the pots early as you move far across the screen. You have a better shot of hitting something that heads away from your direction. Hmm. Uh, I got 65,000. I'm getting better at the game. Am I good enough to get patch score? If I work on it. So, mm, 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 mm. maybe I'm no mess. Just making things up. Maybe, maybe. I'll have to watch some um, watch some really good people doing it, and then maybe I can catch some things that they're doing. Um, but thanks for hanging out with me tonight. It was great uh, putting in some scores, playing some games. Um, thank you, RC7E, Charles Wheeland, Double Down, Charles Donnie Mao, Atari2600, Dude. Um... Prow7. Dan AVC. Johnny the Wiz Kid. Metal Lunar 7. Rendered Ghost. Cafe Man 2D. Uh, Kiki PDPH. And everybody else who is lurking or watching on YouTube. Thanks for sticking around. Um, so. We have a show tomorrow, actually. So let's take a look at that. What we're going to be playing tomorrow. Uh, we will be playing... Oh, let's scroll up a bit. Uh, Frantic, Tray 4, and Shattered Earth, the Atari 2600. Uh, Frantic got updated recently. Shattered Earth as well. 
Tray 4 got released. So that'll be tomorrow, Tuesday the 19th. Uh, things to open, some news, and uh, yeah, we'll have some fun playing some games, playing with some cats, hey? Yeah, it'll be fun. So that's an evening show at 6 p.m. Uh, I'll be by myself again. Um, but uh, things went okay today, so I think we should be fine. The cats really helped me along, right? Yes, you did. And you won, as per usual. People won't be uh, uh, betting on you anymore. Actually, they'll all be betting on you. And then the lone person betting on Atari, hoping. Cats are team players, yes. Good players. Well, thank you, Charles Whelan. I try and get better at these patch games, but uh, phew, the ones that are left are really hard. Maybe I'll go for another easy one and throw that in. Maybe I'll do Pitfall or something. Uh, if everybody votes the same, you get to watch cats eat. <laughs> I think some people wait to the last second and go, mm, I'll put in... Because if you bet just the tiniest amount on the other cat, when nobody else bets on that cat, you'll get all of those points if you win. Um, so it's worth it. Put it laser blast. That'll be the very, very, very last patch game I'll play. That's a horrendous game. Brutal. Atari the cat, like Atari the company, becomes a penny stock. Oh, poor Atari penny stock cat. Um, anyway, uh, we'll be back on uh, tomorrow. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. And um, have you played your Atari today? I have. Hopefully you will be playing it too. Um, yeah, check out those Artie and... Uh, Bernie and the Tower of Doom. Very fun. Both have demos in the Atari Age forums. And uh, we will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Same time this started around then. Okay, bye-bye, everyone. Have a good um, night. Bye-bye.